Newton was the first person who got results for the experiment for sending white light through a prism to create a spectrum of colors. If you shine this spectrum onto a white piece of paper, you will then see red, orange, blue and violet. The longest wavelength is red because it's fragmented the least. Violet has the shortest wavelength and is fragmented the most. So that's the reason why the sky is blue because red has the longest wavelength. It is also the warmest color. When you measure it with a thermometer, the red part is called infrared. The electromagnetic spectrum covers a wide variety of wavelengths. Their effects differ from each other. The only difference between the electromagnetic beams is the energy of their photons. Radio waves, microwaves and visible light. Ultraviolet light and x-rays all form part of electromagnetic waves. Colors are part of the electromagnetic spectrum which influences our eyes. It's the visible spectrum and it's a very sp small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It variates between 700 and 400 nanometers for red and violet light. The frequency of an electromagnetic wave which provides color is represented by the relationship C equals F times lambda. C is the frequency of light, F is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength. The colors red, green and blue are called the primary colors. This is because they cannot be made by mixing other projected colors. Two mixed primary colors give a secondary color. If we mix red and green we get yellow. If we mix red and blue we get magenta and if we mix green with blue we get cyan. If red, green and blue light is mixed at the same density of light then you would get white. Complementary colors on the other hand is if we mix two colors to give white. Blue for example will give white if it's mixed with yellow. The reason for this is because yellow is a mixture of green and red. Pigments are particles that are mixed with the materials paint is made out of to give a color. The subtractive primary pigments are red, green and blue, just like the colors of light. The color depends on how well the material reflects light. Red light, for example, contains particles which can, which can absorb cyan out of white light. If cyan is removed from the, the light, red remains. Yellow, cyan and magenta are called subtractive primary colors. If magenta, for example, is removed from white light, green remains. And if yellow is removed from white light, blue remains. So if you have a printer at home, you can drive all the colors through layers out of yellow, magenta, cyan and black. So if you print a photo, three negatives of the different colors would lie over each other. We can use the color triangle if we want to know what the result will be if we mix colors with the same brightness. Example, yellow equals red plus green and cyan is equal to green and blue. The complementary colors are all directly across each other in the color triangle. For example, if you mix green and magenta, you'll get white.